Some of the ulama, they say, if there is no mushakka, you know, no mushakka, that there is no difficulty, that it is, uh, then it's better to fast, so you don't have to make up your fast. And some hold the view that it's better to break it anyway because, you know, to follow the sunnah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, and uh, so it is, uh, it's permissible to, uh, to continue to fast uh, if you, uh, uh, if you are uh, traveling. And it's permissible also to break your fast. And Allah knows best, as some of, I hold the view of those ulama that say that it is permissible to, uh, that, that it's better to fast and, and uh, if there's no mushakka. If there's no difficulty, then it's better to fast. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. The last Ibara Imam uh, Baba Hari mentioned, he said, Wala bas bi salati fi sarawil. He said, and no problem in making prayer in the sarawil. Sarawil, they are uh, similar to what we have now as pants, or as we see the penta pajama of the Pakistanis that they wear, they, their bottom uh, half of their sharwar uh, kameez, that this is the close, prob closest thing to sarawil, that it's very, uh, uh, very, not very tight fitting, and uh, you know, so so that it's it's not showing your your private parts or illustrating your private parts. It's not tight, and it and it has to be something, of course, that's permissible to pray in. So from that, uh, although pan pants are not exactly sarawil, but they're similar to them, and they're a later invention. Uh, you know, many of the ulama say, you know, that it's permissible, of course, to wear pants as long as they are to wear pants and also pray in pants, as long as they are, um, they are not form-fitting, that they cover you properly and they do not expose yourself and they are, they've covered your aura properly. So, with this being said, that, uh, and this is the custom of many uh, of the people in the ulama, they also differ with regards to if those pants are too tight, is the salat, uh, is it disliked? Some of the ulama say it's disliked, and this was Sheikh Ahmed al-Najmi, he said, qala rahmatullahi he said, uh, if they are very tight and they're kind of illustrating almost the person's private parts, then the prayer in those pants is disliked, and he said, "Wakad tub uh, tub to the uh, tub to the uh, salat. Ida kana la labis a sarawil la yatamekin min adal arkan ka enna yukun la yasuti and yajlis li tishahad wabeda sajatain." The Sheikh said, "Rahmatullahi." He said, uh, "So in that case, it would be disliked." And he said, it can also go to this to the level of uh, making a person's prayer completely unaccepted. Ba'atul. If the person is unable to properly perform the arkan of salat, the the uh, pillars of prayer, for example, if they are not able to uh, sit for tashahud because their pants are so tight. They can't sit. It's, it restricts them from sitting at all, you know, or it's so tight they can't sit properly or what have you. Or to sit between the sajdatain, the two sajuds, the two prostrations. If you are unable to do that because your pants are so tight, which can be the case, then in this situation the shaykh is saying that that is batum. The person's prayer is not accepted. So this shows us the danger and why we should always wear clothing which is appropriate to pray in. If you're at the beach, you're in your shorts, they're long shorts. They're covering your aura, the man's aura, you know. Wherever you are, try to maintain uh, Islamic wear in that it's permissible. That is which is mubah. Don't wear, you know, you, you should never wear skinny jeans, okay. There's no reason, especially out in public. If that was something you wore in your house with your family, for whatever reason, that's something you guys have. That that's something different. But you shouldn't try to pray in those things. 
you know, because they are uh, very tight on the Oda and possibly so tight the way some of the wear people wear them that perhaps they can't pray in them properly. So you want to try to wear things that are at least permissible in the shadow, even if they're not uh, from the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, but at least they are a halal. For example, for the man, that they are above the ankles, they're above Foka Kabe. Okay, so the Prophet Sallallahu said, that which is below the ankles in the knob. So that's why you want to try to maintain a Sharia uh, dress code. And I think I'll end at that ibadah there, because I know it's we've taken long. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the Amal Nathia, Uriskin Tayba, Ramal Mutakabinan, and forgive us of our many uh, shortcomings. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.